You guys have been sure Andy. I'm playing more SpongeBob Truth or Square. This game is on the Xbox 360. Don't make me come looking for you. Oh gosh, I hear Sandy. Um, that's fun. We're gonna I think we're gonna talk to Patrick because he has an exclamation mark above his head. Wow, the, the music volume in this game is way too loud to hear SpongeBob right now. It could be anywhere in the Krusty Krab. That place is full of great memories. I remember when I got my first promotion. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, well, that's that's great. And we're ready, ready to do some trivia. Um, What does SpongeBob win if he wins Neptune's challenge? Aw, uh, man. I mean, it's pretty tough. Obviously, the first and the third one are not jokes, but I think it's the second one. I actually didn't even read it. I just knew that the first one and the third one weren't really right. What's going on here? Is this the end of the game? Of course. Now I remember. I put the formula in the safe. After all, Mr. Krabs told no me to put it in the safe. Oh god. Safe. Low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit. Boy, I love it when things work out. <laughs> Sponge fool. Little did you realize that while desperately trying to keep me away from the formula, you've only succeeded in leading me directly to it. And wow, little did I know that that's not Plankton's real voice actor, and he probably refused to be in this game for reasons that we can all understand. You gotta, you gotta pepper in that, pepper in that humor. You know, always bring your needle. Fucking inject that humor. Well, SpongeBob, you and your holes will have to excuse me. There's a secret what, formula. Why the fuck would you even say that? Mr. Krabs is the only name on that formula. Not the end of the game. Oh, I would love it if it was. Watch your fingers. Oh, goody. Oh, and I've come so far. Oh man, I, I gotta sneeze. Down now. It's time to. It's time. This got to be the final boss. Like, why, what else would it be? I just had no idea that I was so close. Oh, whoa, we were in the chum bucket the whole time. Oh, right, because we were... Okay, so we've been searching memories. So I pay a lot of attention, just as a general rule of thumb, in case you guys didn't know. Stay away from the tulips! Yeah, so I'm playing this on a school night, so please nobody tell my parents. Okay, um... Obviously, I'm kidding. But yeah, okay, so it's a, it's a level. Is it a two? Is it a side scroller? No, it's not. Keep up with Plankton Bot. Alright, well, we're gonna give it our best. And then. Well, maybe not our complete best, because I don't think it's gonna take our my best to succeed with this. Ooh, this is actually fun if I'm just, like, moving sideways. Oh. Oh, uh, well, that's not the right move. I like the photorealistic Krabby Patty. Uh, uh, just as another rule of thumb, I'm very hungry. I always get so hungry when I record these. But yeah. So this game has co-op, um, which invites all sorts of jokes about trying to find someone to play this game with you. But yeah, I could I could have done that to maybe ease up the tension of playing, having played this same game with the same lines every five minutes. Same geniusly crafted. I mean, these people were at a freaking board meeting. And their first priority was to make the laugh happen, you know? That's my dream job, is to be in a room thinking about how to make the laughs happen. I'm actually pausing for laughter in case you're wondering. Oh, what do I even... Do I hit Mr. Krabs? No, I gotta... No, I can hit the target on his hand. Oh, um... Oh, oh, um, yeah, no, it didn't work. Oh, well, we're doing some... Okay, I gotta hit, um, that target. Um, uh oh. Uh, maybe in his mouth. I think I'm gonna hit him. That's a vulnerable spot. Right? Yeah, he's fucked. There's a cutscene. Why am I in here now? That's really weird. What is I I get the feeling that if I hit that something less than desirable will happen. Oh I need to hit these things are like generators, I bet. And we destroy it. And 
and let these things kind of keep attacking me. That's just good. Yeah, it's done. Done. Done, though, with a capital Z. Uh, why not just capitalize random letters within the word? And now we're way stronger because we're on steroids, I, I would assume. I would assume that there is uh, no steroids at the bottom. But I don't know what the drug scene is like under the sea. I barely know what it's like above the sea. I don't really, I don't really do drugs too much. I don't even really take Tylenol for a headache. I mean, I'm not like afraid of them, but you know, I never like. Every time I get a headache, I'm like, oh, I probably just need to drink more water. Cause like, I don't know. If if I were my body, and I was like, yo, dude. Fucking, you haven't drunk any water all day, but you know, on my body, so I don't really, I'm not really capable of saying that. I guess I would just give myself a headache like a fucking asshole. Seems like the right thing to do. There's, there's a lot of strategy going into this right now. It might, it might sound like I'm just hitting A and X randomly, and if it doesn't sound like that, well then yeah, that's what I'm doing, in case you didn't know. Oh wait, I didn't know that that would plummet. Um, how was I supposed to get across? I hope they don't have to start over completely. That would really put a dampen on things. No, okay, this trampoline wasn't here before. Kelpo. I, I could go for some cereal. Oh, I don't want, I don't care about steam, whatever. You guys like cereal? What kind of cereal do you guys like? Go ahead and let me know. I don't, I don't know. I'm open to new ideas. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's just a call to action supposed to do that to make money if you guys you know if enough of you guys comment what kind of cereals you like I'll bet I'll be like a fifth of the way to buying my own box of cereal it's kind of an investment opportunity for you guys because the more cereal I eat the um the less hungry I'll be and then I'll stop bitching about being hungry in the middle of these well bitching noting what's Two different words for the same thing. I like that bitching is a verb. I think that that's fun. Oh wait, no, hold on, we gotta get out of this. Oh, okay. I think that if that was a little, a little easier to dodge, that would be great. Oh, I hit his hand, and I guess I hurt him. We need to wait until he, yeah, okay, we're gonna hit the X. X marks the spot. So, you know, some some things are really vague, like, like is that a reference to Spongebob? Because of that episode where X marked the spot, you guys know the one classic episode right there. I, I don't know if you guys know about that website, kisscartoon.me, and I don't know if it's illegal for me to talk about it, um, but it has free cartoons, and Spongebob is one of them, and it's better than Netflix, because it's free, whereas Netflix is $10, which is, like, not that much money, but, like... 10 times, 10 times, like, 5 is 50, and, um, and this might, this is a little easy, this, the math here is a little easier than I'm about to do, uh, 0 times 5 is, uh, I'll give you guys a second, uh, don't, please don't use a calculator, I know it's tempting, but it's not fair to the rest of us, but, uh, yeah, 5 times 0 is 0, if you, um, if you locked in that as your answer, you are now, I uh, added to my, um, to my raffle, uh, Adventure Andy, I'm going to be selling, some, 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 I'm going to be giving away a box of cereal, or I guess a fifth of a box. I'm going to go to the grocery store, and I'm going to take a sandwich bag, and I'm going to fucking fill it with cereal. Just a little sandwich bag, and then I'm going to raffle it off. But remember, you got to be subscribed to the channel first, because, you know, I have to make the money. And, um, you have to be following me on Twitter and Facebook, and Inger, and Tumblr, and maybe if you see someone that looks like me on the street, maybe follow him until he turns around. Actually, no, even if he turns around, as long as he doesn't ask you to stop, you're under no obligation to end your mission. Okay, let's keep following Plankton Bot, or as I like to call it, the robot that is Plankton. Whoa, okay, look at that debris. That, whoa, whoa. Oh, you can step on water. That's fun. Alright, um... Oh, my head's really itchy. Can I just... Am I... Okay, well, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know.
What was I supposed to do? How does one acquire knowledge? I feel like I need to watch more TED Talks. You guys like TED Talks? They seem like intriguing, but they seem like they fucking suck the life out of you. Like, I feel like you probably, you watch one and then like, that, well that's what YouTube's all about, is getting you to waste as much of your life on it as possible, because they get money. I'm, I've been very, I'm very talking about money, but I'm actually not in a very money grubby mood right now. I was over the summer, because I was like buying my own groceries, and so like, I was like trying to get that dough, you got, you know, but like, um, well it's falling, um, okay, well that was very challenging. I kind of like it though, they're introducing things that are difficult. But yeah, so over the summer I needed to buy my own groceries and I needed to pay for saxophone lessons, so I was kind of like just trying to have as much money as I could in order to be able to comfortably do those things. So I don't know if it's like greedy or not, but like I'm not even like, it's not that I want like money to have money, I just like to be able to like spend money on things I need with and f without feeling you feel like a very minimal amount of discomfort. Because it's very easy to like, feel discomfort when you're low on money. Because like, you need money for a lot of things. Like, it's not even like, being greedy, you know? I mean, at the same time, I guess like, maybe the comfort of money is where greed comes from. Because some people are better at dealing with the discomfort of not having a steady income. But I actually don't know. You'd have to ask a psychologist, or maybe even more specifically, someone who does know. I know few things. <laughs>